If you don't know what the Russian sleep experiment was back in the 1900s, it was a dark time for human experimentation. To be fair, during those times, there was a lot of experimentation going on. There was the infamous Japanese section, sector, section, I can't remember the name of it, that did some terrible experimentation. There was the German experimentation regarding very horrible subjects. There was the British experimentation on torture. There was the American experimentation on how to fail epically at everything because America sucks. And there was the Canadian experimentation on how to bag milk. The, the Russian sleep experiment was basically an experiment to see how long people could go without sleep without going insane. Spoiler alert, it's not very long. Hang on. Let in the me... year 1940, uh -oh. in a secret laboratory deep within the I... Soviet oh, Union, no. uh, hang a group on. of ambitious researchers embarked on what an experiment happening? that was meant to change the course of no, history. I broke Their it. goal was to create no, invincible soldiers, but individuals I capable of staying I'll awake yell at you to say and it, fighting promise. in the most challenging conditions. To achieve this, they devised a dangerous <laughs> and controversial experiment, subjecting human subjects to extreme sleep deprivation. And he considered the sleep experiment a failure and a cautionary tale about how far science should not go in pursuit of progress. But I believe the experiment was a success. What was it? find out why. Okay. Interesting. Very sorry for the chaotic start of this recording. I am live streaming this right now on Twitch.tv for us. Let's When you see this, uh, Sunday, the 22nd of October, so that's tomorrow, uh, I will also be live streaming Alan Wake all day, starting at 5 p.m. UK until I beat it. So please join me there. Sorry, I need to go back and yell at my chat some more and also block someone on Steam. Give me a second. So the Russian sleep experiment, if you didn't know, basically ended in disaster. I can't remember. Denied. Uh, okay, there's a bomb. I can't remember if this was the experiment where they were using various drugs and paraphernalia in order to force people to stay awake or not, but there was a whole thing. Hello? Okay, it was a whole thing, and uh... At the end of it all, they basically just agreed to never do it again because humans go very quickly insane due to lack of sleep and 9210. I did not want to do it. Sorry. Well, I don't. Oh, 9210. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is a brand new horror game, by the way. I might be the first. YouTuber to do it. Nine two one zero. Where's the? Hello? Where's the stairs? Uh. Uh. I swear to God, there was a set of stairs right there. I said. Hello. You're a bit pale. Uh. <clears throat> Soft touch cream foundation. All right. Hi. Okay. What? This wasn't here a second. What is hap? What is this game? Oh, there's two of them dead now. Ace of spades. All right, interesting. I, 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 hmm. 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 I hear a crying lady. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Carla. 
That's three dead. Yay. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was not scary at all. No, sir. No, sir. No spooks here. What is happening? Freedom. What was the code? I can't remember. I'm just going to guess. It was nine. Two, one, zero. Oh, why did I do that? Wait, hang on. I'm pretty sure I just blew myself up. Oh, so Good evening, dear comrades. You are on the verge of participating in an experiment that will bring benefits to the soldiers of the Soviet Union. Wow. You will receive a gas that has been developed by our scientists that will keep you awake for almost 30 days. That is Rest amazing! that the gas is non-lethal and you will not be physically harmed during the course of the experiment. That is fantastic After the completion news, of this experiment, your freedom will be granted and you will be able to return to your families. Oui. The gas will be released now. Okay, comrade. Thank you very much for your support. There is gas. He's colorless and odorless. But not qu qu quietness. Silent, <laughs> I guess. Hello, comrade. Would you like to play chess? No. I'm bored already. Oh, shit. There's a guy over here. Shit. I can't wait for this damn experiment to end. Dude, it's been five minutes. Oh, it's been ten seconds, technically. It's been five minutes. <sighs> Would I like to eat egg, bread, or perhaps sausage, or bread, or egg, or salami, or stew? No, I will eat them all. <laughs> Hello, comrade. Uh, how do I... How do I tune it? LW3. Okay. VHF5. MW2. Okay. So... LW... 1, 2, 3. HF5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Women. Children. Hey! Families. Families! I've killed them all. That was my mission. Oh. To destroy that building. I had no choice. Thanks for the help. I believe that what I'm experiencing now is the atonement for my sins. Anyway, what day is it since the experiment started? It's been 10 seconds. The fourth day. The fifth day. 10 seconds. Day one. Okay, cool. <laughs> what now? <laughs> yeah. Hello? That's not normal. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is part of the experiment. Unknown serial killer haunts the city. Detectives struggle to unveil their dark identity. A wave of brutal and enigmatic murders send panic through the community. Our one. Oh, what the shit, dudes! <laughs> hey, how about you stay away from my front door? Chuckle brother fam. Uh, let's quickly read the rest of this. <laughs> I wish I could be so silly this place didn't wear one in fear and travel with a matches on a serial in a series of Christmas and citizens events with possible murders and the financial and the business 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 and <laughs> Sorry, that scared me. I didn't expect the door to slam open. 
Hello? Hello? <laughs> okay. Hi. Oh, that's not normal. What the shit? It's not a knife. This is a knife. Pulls out a spoon. I don't want to set the world on fire. Ah, oh, safety. Yay! Go back to my nut. Oh. Boy, oh, I'm curious. I don't... I'm very confused as to what this is reflecting. I'm going to be honest. What a bizarre turn of events. <laughs> you get it? I like... Going to that? No, okay. Weird. Weird. Blah. What the shit? I'm. Hmm? <laughs> ah! Oh! No! 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 What is happening? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What am I meant to be do- This is a bizarre game already. Um. Oh, this game's making me jump like nothing else. Okay. Oh, I'm back. What am I doing? <laughs> There's a freaking door. Why is there a freaking door here? There wasn't a door here before. It doesn't work! Well, what a shit door that was, eh? It's a three digit code. We could just try and force it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby! Open. Open. How do I open? Open. Open. Oh, hello? I had to restart, but it worked. Look at that. Yeah. Apparently, it doesn't like being brute forced. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Oh my god. The sleep experiment is going to make me go crazy <laughs> like asleep. Oh, you're just the loveliest boy, ain't you? Hi. A new victim has been found. The count of discovered dead bodies has escalated to nine. The authorities are clueless about the identity of the murderer. At any given moment, there could be more victims. Uh huh. <laughs> but you knew who the murderer was, right? Did I? Why did you decide to hold on to this secret? Money. Was it due to fear or doubt? Money. Your apathy resulted in the deaths of numerous innocent individuals. I want money. You could have halted all this with a mere report to the police. But how would I have made money? You opted to let the murderer walk free, implicating you in his heinous crimes. The only thing you heinous was the lack of money. The executioner of those <laughs> Sorry. People. But this was just the beginning, wasn't it? Was it? Did I become a murderer too? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Now what? <laughs> Hello? 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 That's not a very pleasant noise. Hello? 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 Is anyone there? Again. Did it bug again? Did I? Oh, the Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goofy. Oh. Oh. Goofy. I know how much you like peanut butter. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, he sounds so disgusting. Oh, oh that was lovely. I'm being in like Germany. I don't know why I did a Scottish accent for that. Um. I'm very confused. Can I go in this? Oh. Huh? That's kind of cool. Under the doormat, at the entrance, you'll find the key to my drawer. Inside, you'll discover a weapon. I'm waiting you for a hunting session. One piece of advice, don't rely on a single shot. Be precise and consistent. Underneath. Okay. Ah. Hey, old drawer key. Hey. All right, hey, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Uncle. <laughs> Oh, shag me arse. Hello? It's a pond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stop the press. I'm Jesus. That's it. Your Lord and Savior, me. No one thought the Messiah would have returned in the form of a fat, anxious, depressed, middle-aged man! But I'm back, baby! Uh, nominate Christy, I'm in Mirko Blood. Sorry, a little bit of brevity for this erstwhile terrifying hex arms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello. I have a shotgun. Shotgun beats Eldritch Entity every time, right? Right? <laughs> Brrr. Face me, beasts. Face me like I faced your mom in bed last night. I said your mama did a sting. No, it, it was an accident. Oh my god, what a terrible accident! Oh no! What a heart! 
Hang on, he might be still. What a horrible accident! <laughs> tick, tack, tick, tack. The monster is coming. Cover the window while you still have time. Huh? Uh, you cover it with. Any sign to cover it with? What do we cover it with? Water? What are those? Table? No. Hide? No. Uh, oh, tarpaulin! What the shit is this? Huh? Dude, this game's kind of trippy. NGL? Kind of freaking out right now. Ooh. Uh, I'll take that, thank you very much. Uh... Hey, did you guys know that Slender the Arrival was getting a remaster and I have never played the original? Is that something you guys want to see me play? Maybe. Maybe no one Mine. Where the... Heck in hells. What is happening? Okay, obviously we killed someone, right? But it was an accident. And by accident, I mean I unloaded 15 shells into the man's back. But to be fair, he had a very threatening mustache on the front of his face. And if he turned around, I would have been in grave danger. That's stand up in court, right? <laughs> I didn't know. Ah, oh, I need to turn this game down before I hurt myself. God damn it. Do I have enough? Oh, my lungs were built for wheezing, not for screaming. They were built for loving, not for degloving. God damn it. Oh. I see it. Look, it's right there. And that obviously means that's not going to be a jump scare when I go around this corner. Oh. oh. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> I made a good choice. All right, a good decision. Oh. <laughs> Uh huh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hey, buddy. Are you okay? You're looking a a bit rough. Rough, rough. Ah, uh, woo. I'm really nervous. I'm sorry. I do completely random stuff when I'm anxious just to kind of space myself away from the shit that's happening. <sighs> oh, he's that one. Oh. Uh. What? What the shit? Huh? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I think I just set fire to the floor. Ah, uh, yeah. Nope. Uh, yeah. All right. And then, uh, this. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate, isn't it? I guess I'll never <laughs> finish this project. Okay. In place. Right. There's no way I could miss this time. Ha ha ha. Oh, God bless America! Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! Now that, my friends, is what we call First Try Larry. Because he always nails it on the first freaking try. Watch this shit. You've never seen a man as awesome as this. Nice. Now, where the sh shingle shangles does this fireplace go? Boom! <laughs> oh, there's definitely not in here, is it? 
What? I'm cold. Can you light the fire, please? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. God damn it. This is, this is dumb. <laughs> this is. What a. This is dumb. I'm. I'm sorry. I know the developer probably put a ton of work into this and is like, oh my god, I'm so happy that I've released this. But this is a really dumb puzzle that requires precision that just shouldn't be, right? Oh, blessed be. Everyone's getting super bored of this. And don't worry, guys. I am too. <laughs> don't worry, guys. You're not alone. This is boring. Why are you over... Don't worry, guys. I agree. This is really poopy. Ending bar. Could there be a more classic equestrian girl night job? All right, don't you worry there. I've been out all day tending on my, 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 my horses, and then now I'm in here pouring you a beer. Yeehaw! That's right, honey. You want a beer? You come here. To, to, to the horse's rear. <laughs> yeah. We got horseshoes, and we got beer. What do you want? That's awesome. <laughs> it's a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> this right here is how you deal with a game having the most inane mechanics ever. This is called the Ice Crest Cheese. <laughs> Fuck, I think I blocked it. I blocked the hole I was meant to go down. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Ah! Right. Okay. This is the sheer level of desperate genius that I am... I need you to bring the fireplace here. I hate everything. Oh. Hello, darkness, my old... I'm not joking when I say it's been half a fucking... I just have to somehow make it work here. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking first try? First try! Sonny, you're cold? Well, since this is a horror game, let me warm you right up! After spending an hour trying to... Didn't work. It didn't fucking work. Ah! I thought this game would be fun. All right, let's try right here. Hang on, let's line up so the chair... Okay. Can you give me the oh, on the thank table? you, Jesus! Oh, my God! I have never been more flaccid in my life than I have been playing this godforsaken game. It is interesting, very interesting, in in its idea, but its execution. Makes me feel like I'm tweezing out my ball hairs. One out of... <laughs> well, that's a grave sign. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I have... Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to lose... My mind. <sighs> okay. We're good. Where are we? What? What is this? A fridge. With a flashlight. Sweet. Warning. Authorized personnel only. Well, nothing personnel, kid, but I can't use you! <laughs> what am I using this for? Why Why have I got a flashlight? Oh, do I need to turn off the lights? Does that work now? 
Hello? Uh, okay, there's a weird noise in there now. Did not expect tits. <laughs> Gonna be honest, I expect a lot of things. Did not expect boobies. Well, what is that that I just picked up? I don't know. Um. Oh, all of this has changed. Okay, so murder hanging, murder in the beds, and then murder in the pooper? Murder in the bath? Murder in the toilet? Mur ah! Murder. Oh, yeah, murder in the forest. Duh. Why didn't you know that, I see? You played it like six hours. Hey, buddy, you okay? Okay. Interesting. I'm going to have a drink of my Coke and nothing scary is going to happen. Apparently, I was right. I knew my uncle was a criminal. In my childhood, I witnessed him mutilating a victim, but fear kept me silent. Years passed, victims Holy kept shit. appearing. Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> One day, my uncle invited me on a hunting trip, <laughs> hoping to end the nightmare. I shot him, believing it would bring an end to the nightmare. It seemed like an unfortunate accident to everyone. Ah. However, reality became even darker for me. Demons grew stronger. Soon after this event, my mother fell seriously ill, and I became her caregiver. Mm. I watched her health deteriorate over the years as I struggled to provide the care she needed. The burden of her illness weighed heavily on me, and it seemed like the nightmare would never end. Eventually, the inevitable happened, and she passed away. What a It was grave. a devastating loss that left me broken. A curse. Sorry. The only refuge I could think of at that moment was the army, hoping that way I would forget it all. But there, the darkness took an even darker turn. I'm sorry. I sh I'm pretty sure the sleep experiment happened like pre-modern military equipment, but I could be wrong. Uh, what's the darker turn? Do I need to turn out light? No. What's the darker turn? Do I need to go this way? Huh. Oh yeah, I set off a bomb and killed a family. Fulfill your given mission. Destroy the building and kill everyone. What was the code again, chat? Oh shit, I don't remember the code. It was nine two zero one? Denied. Nine zero two one? I remember it began with a nine. Nine two one zero. Once again, my chat are an absolute don't stand in my way! I will escape! I guess I will not escape. Well, where'd your candles go, bro? Well, you guys are assholes. Why is my phone going off? Right, how am I going to get out of here before the bomb explodes? Because I might have an ass. Please save Carla. Like a champion. But I'd rather not become da bomb. What the hell? Uh. Oh, hey, look, the pass. <laughs> Do not worry. I will get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Sure will. Here we go. You made me gibber in fright. Did you think that by saving that girl, you could escape me? I am the dark shadow of your own consciousness. I am the dark reflection of your own being. I am the monster created by your thoughts and actions. I am you. Huh. I was scared by a girl who was trying to sit- Whoa! Ah, ah, what the shit, dude? In the first days, Everything seemed normal until the ninth day when one of the prisoners started screaming 
stopping only after his vocal cords broke. After that, things turned even darker. The prisoners began to cover the windows, through which they were watched by the scientists, with pages of books and their own feces. On the 15th day, we decided to end the experiment. When we entered the cells, we were horrified. Two of the prisoners were mutilated and dead. The third prisoner was still alive, but his wounds were too serious. He died shortly after being taken out of the cell. At the beginning, however, I told you that the experiment was a success, at least for one of the subjects. Uh huh. Obviously, the song on a violin. Anyway, I destroyed you. It's over. No, it is not. I forgive you. Hmm. My dear hero. My dear hero. Oh, well, never mind. I am writing to express my Fuck deep gratitude me, and admiration no for your exceptional bravery on that fateful day. It is difficult to put into words how much your actions mean to me and how profoundly your selfless sacrifice has touched my heart. I understand the harrowing situation you found yourself in. Originally, the purpose behind the destruction of the building was to cause significant harm, but you fearlessly chose to defy that plan, risking your own life to save mine. It was an extraordinary act of courage, a shining example of true heroism. During those darkest moments, you became my ray of hope. You showed me that a hero is someone who does what is right, even in the face of overwhelming danger and agonizing decisions. Your actions rescued me from an ongoing nightmare, giving me the precious gift of a new chance at life. I want you to know that I hold no blame towards you for the events that took place. You are a genuine hero, and my family, watching over us from the heavens, joins me in expressing heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering bravery. You made the conscious choice to save a life in the face of imminent danger, and for this, we will forever cherish your memory. Your courage continues to inspire me, and the memory of all those who were lost on that tragic day a will long forever letter. be in my heart. With all my love, Carla. The sleep experiments, thank you for playing. Team Claws Dev. I have some things I want to say. Okay. This isn't why I was expecting. I was wanting more of a game through the eyes of the investigators, sort of roaming around and seeing these situations be put in place. You took a very, very, very interesting setting and you told a story with it, but not what I was expecting based on the store page, right? Fairies of Horror is one of the most infamous experiments that ever took place as a test subject. In the top secret Soviet research facility, you must endure days without sleep while facing unimaginable terrors that lurk in the shadows. That sounds interesting. Now, the story you were trying to tell, I, as everyone knows, and I'm gonna get a bit personal here, suffer quite seriously from several mental illnesses. One of those used to be paranoid delusions. When I was younger, shit wasn't great, right? I used to retreat into my imagination to sort of hide from stuff. So I had these sorts of things and I don't really, maybe this is different from what I had, but the idea of looking at yourself and saying, I forgive you and everything being great, sounds a bit weird. Sounds like a weird, sounds very weird. It's not. I don't get that, right? I was kind of vibing with the story for a hot minute there. And then it just kind of went <laughs> right? I get the idea that the sleep experiment worked for one person because he was forced to face his demons. But if I know anything about these sorts of experiments, look up the white room experiment, for example, this shit, when humans are forced into these things, don't, you don't walk away going, I'm all better. You walk away scarred for life. People who go into white room experiments and sleep experiments, when they walk out, they are not the same person. 
this game took a really interesting concept and a really interesting setting and just kind of didn't hit the mark. If this was your first game ever, it was all right. You've got something to build on and I'm very happy that you've decided to go into this career. Congratulations. But several things, <laughs> at least including that fucking picture puzzle. You need to learn to streamline and bring your story to a satisfying conclusion, right? Um, overall, scares were spooky. I, I, I screamed. I was spooked. That's okay. But I just didn't feel it for the story. I really didn't. I'm sorry. Um, maybe for some people this will be the deepest thing in the universe, but for me, it just kind of didn't hit the mark, right? Normally, there's a lot more that goes into a journey of self-reflection and <clears throat> self-forgiveness. And the idea, like, the, the, the story you, you had midway through and towards the end, not the end, but towards the end was the idea that this child was messed up. And as someone who watches a lot of true crime stuff, this is stuff that happens in real life. This child was messed up by his uncle who was mutilating people and murdering people in front of him. And this child then murdered the uncle. But a little bit of that trauma stuck with the kids and became this voice repeating in his head and this overwhelming urge and feeling to do harm to others. This is a phenomenon that exists in real life. This is a problem that people go through. This is why people who are offended against can become offenders. This is a big problem. But at the end of these stories, if you go back and look at Amnesia or 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 there was a recent one i played and i can't remember the name of it um i can't remember the name of the other recent one i played uh but the point is oh it was the, 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 the war one ad infinitum right you can't just say Oof, and all your problems are solved right just because he, he did one good action doesn't mean that everything's all right what what you need to do is you need to end a story like this on a note that makes it feel like the future is slowly going to get better because the road to recovery to that kind of trauma is long long very long especially if you've been locked in a room with no sleep for 10 fucking days anyway i respect what you tried to do here i can't say i enjoyed it I cannot say I enjoyed my time because just I spent more time trying to place down a fucking house than I did playing the game. <laughs> you know, if that's the if that's my takeaway, something went wrong. But keep it up. If this is your dream, shoot for the stars, and I hope to see more stuff from you in the future. And that's me signing off from YouTube. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, remember. Alan Wake stream, Sunday. Yeah, 5 p.m. UK time. Until it's finished or until I get a headache. Be there.